Welcome to another episode of Skate Park Showcase. Today I am at the Veterans Park in St. Johns, Florida, just south of Jacksonville. Now this skate park is not huge, but it does have a lot to offer. Let's check it out. St. John's, man, I've never been here before. Uh, they have a really good skate park. I had a lot of fun here. It's an ARC manufactured park, all metal ramps, but not too hot like some of the other ones I've come across. Let's get into it. St. John's is in the Jacksonville area. It's about 25 miles south of the center of Jacksonville. I haven't spent much time in this area, but it does seem like it is decently populated. There are a lot of really nice neighborhoods around this area and the park definitely reflects that. Right when you roll up, like I said earlier, you will notice that it's a really nice area. There are a bunch of soccer fields out here, which is pretty interesting. And then you've got the skate park. When you see the skate park, you're gonna realize there's a lot out here and there's a lot of stuff for beginners and advanced skaters. It's a pretty decently sized skate park. It's not giant, but it isn't small by any means. They are metal ramps, but they are painted like a tan color, so they don't get super hot. Some of these darker metal ramps get pretty hot in this Florida heat, but today it actually wasn't really that bad. The layout is pretty interesting. Basically, there are three main sections to this skate park. There are two separate street sections, and then right in the middle, there is a long strip of a bunch of obstacles. It's also a street section, but very different. And then you have two little rails on the outskirts, but I'm not gonna say that's a whole section. There's just, just two rails. So first we'll go over those rails. You got one circle, long kinked rail. It's really nice, easy to skate. The low section is really low, but the high section is not too high. So I actually like it a lot. And the other rail is a square rail. It's got decent length to it. It's a good beginner rail, that's for sure. It's not too low, so it's not annoying getting on it, but it's also not too high. So it's a lot of fun experimenting and trying new tricks for sure. It's like at that good medium where beginners and advanced skaters can skate this rail. So first I'll talk about the long strip street section. It's basically just a long strip of four separate obstacles in a long line. Before we break down each individual thing, what's really interesting is that on one end there's a quarter pipe, but on the opposite end, there's no quarter pipe there. So there's no really like back and forth turn around capability. So I thought that was kind of strange. It would have been nice if they just put a quarter pipe right there, it would have been perfect. So we'll start with the quarter pipe. It's a nice chill mellow quarter pipe. I think it's about three feet high, super easy to skate, nice and mellow. Doesn't get you crazy speed because you don't need a lot of speed to hit the rest of the obstacles. Just beyond that, there is a manual pad grind box with a rail and a little fun box on it. I didn't hit the fun box or the rail, I just hit the manual pad a little bit and then I moved on to the next obstacle. Right past that is a cool little spine. I've never seen a spine like this before. It has a fake parking block on the top, which is really cool. And that's the one spot where you'll actually see the ARC logo. It's really chill, a lot of fun to skate. Nice to just bonk over and keep going. On the opposite side of that is another manual pad with a rail on it. The rail is pretty interesting. It's like super wide, but it's a lot of fun to skate. It kind of feels more like a ledge. It's not too high to hit it from the flat ground, but it's a little bit easier to hit if you pop up onto the box. Obstacles like that, that like combine different elements are fun to just kind of play around and pop on the rail, pop off the box, that kind of stuff. Now we'll move on to the second street section. This is more your typical run of the mill street section that you're gonna, gonna come across a lot. On one side, you have a bank. The bank is really wide, it's about four feet tall. It's perfect, it's got a nice curve up into it. Super fun to skate. On the opposite side, there is a quarter pipe. It's nice and wide, it's made really well. It's about four feet tall and you can get good speed off of it. It's super smooth, no complaints on it at all. In the middle is the fun box and it's got some pretty interesting elements to it that I've never seen before. We'll start off with the hip. There are two hips on it, so you can hit it from each side and go front side or back side. It's a lot of fun, super mellow, really easy to skate. The flat is also really easy to get over. It's only about four feet long and you can easily get enough speed to go over the flat from each direction. 
I would say it's a little bit easier going down the bank into it. You get just a tad bit more speed, so I was able to knock a kickflip out over it. On the far side, there is a long flat and a three stair. The three stair is interesting. It's a little bit longer than most three stairs you see, but you get so much speed that it's easy to get over it, super easy. And thankfully the flat is a nice, a nice length. I think it's at least eight foot long, so you can definitely get set up to do your tricks. And now the handrail. The handrail is very interesting. The handrail going down the stair set, down that slope is perfect. It's not too high. It doesn't shoot you straight to the ground. It actually doesn't go down the same exact angle as the ground. It's up a little bit. So when you come out of it, it just feels great. It's super smooth. Then the rail on the top, typically it would be completely flat and go straight out. But this one actually tilts down at an angle slightly and it ends like a foot or two into the down bank. So it's not like it just stops at the top of the flat. It kind of just shoots you right into that bank. And when I first hit it, I wasn't quite ready for it. I approached it like it was flat. I was like leaning back a little bit too far, but then I was like, oh yeah, it's actually down a little bit at a very slight angle. So once you figure that angle out, it's super smooth. And now we've got the third street section and it's really interesting. So this section is the biggest section as in the tallest objects. So let's break the ramps down. On one side, you have a huge bank. It's five foot tall. It's really steep. Sometimes steep banks can be annoying, but this one's just super smooth. I like it a lot and you get crazy speed off of it. On the opposite side is a six foot tall quarter pipe and it is big. It's pretty steep. It's very rare that you'll see a six foot quarter at a skate park. Um, usually you just might see a small six foot session, section that's only like four foot wide, but this one is just a big 12 foot wide quarter pipe and it is a lot of fun to skate. Now in the middle, I don't even know if I should call it a fun box. I don't really know what it is. So on one side, you have an A-frame. I didn't hit the handrail on it, but the handrails do look really nice. And the A-frame is perfect. It's nice and wide. It's not too steep. You can easily air over it bank to bank, no problems. You know, you could probably air all the way to flat dropping it on the quarter pipe or that bank because it gets you crazy speed. And this is the reason why that quarter pipe and bank are so steep is because you need a lot of speed to hit the other obstacle in the middle. And I don't even know what to call it. It's like a launch ramp over a flat into a bank. And the bank is a little bit higher than the launch ramp. So the flat isn't even like perfectly flat. It's at an angle. It kind of reminds me of like a really tiny mega ramp. <laughs> so uh, I didn't hit it today because I'm actually nursing an ankle injury that you're actually gonna see in the next episode, even though I filmed it earlier today, I'm doing them out of order, but I rolled my ankle. You'll see it in the next episode in Stark, Florida. So I actually wasn't trying to do too much stuff today. That thing looks really cool. I'm really disappointed because I, I would like to try something like that out because I've never tried anything like that before. I might just come down here one day just for the fun of it. Maybe one day when I'm in Jacksonville hitting up some other Jacksonville parks, I can stop, stop by down here when my ankle's feeling better and actually try to hit that thing. And that's the entire skate park. It's a lot of fun to skate. No matter what kind of skater you are, there's gonna be something out here for you. Sometimes I do rag on prefab parks because they can be, feel kind of old or stale, but this one is actually really modern feeling and it's got like a plaza, like street style feel to a lot of it while also keeping the older, like early 2000s style street sections in there as well. So it really is like a nice mixture of all different types of styles. There are no lights out here. Obviously it is super dark. That's unfortunate because it's such a nice park. It really would be awesome if uh, it stayed open later and there were actually lights out here. There are bathrooms a short walking distance from the skate park, so that's really nice. There's a nice dog park out here, all the soccer fields, a couple other bathrooms out there. It just feels really cool out here and it's a nice place to just come and chill. So if you're tired of all the amazing skate parks that they have in Jacksonville and they're actually getting even more, there's a new one that they're building that's gonna be like $8 million, which is insane. I'm super excited about it. Uh, just go down south for about, you know, half an hour drive, come out here and uh, skate something a little bit different. Thanks for checking out another episode of Skate Park Showcase. Real quick, I wanna give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing, thank you so much. It's because of your monthly donations that I'm able to stay on the road. And what I wanna do is hit all the Jacksonville parks. So every little bit of money that I get is gonna go straight towards that, towards gas and everything. There's a ton of skate parks in Jacksonville 
and I really want to cover all of them. I'd like to come down here for like a few days and get hotels and do all that stuff. So there's a lot of expenses that have to be covered. So thank you so much for your donations. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, just go to patreon.com slash park sharks. As little as a dollar a month goes a really long way. Now, if you can't support financially and you want to help out in other ways, there's definitely ways you can do that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, leave a comment, but most importantly, share the video with your friends because you never know, I might go somewhere that they don't know about that they have access to. All right, that's it. Here's what's coming up next.